Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervetis, a gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Welcome back to my channel, Talking IUC with Dr. D. Um, as you can see in today's video, I'm uh, recording from home. Uh, today is May 8th, 2020, and um, we are still in the midst of the global COVID-19 pandemic. And so I'm obviously spending more time at home um, and less time at the office, uh, although my office is still open in a limited fashion and I am still providing uh, care in terms of uh, general gynecology and uh, IUD insertions. Today's topic is actually going to be about uh, what to do during the pandemic if your IUD is due for replacement. So you already have an IUD in place um, and have been enjoying uh, worry-free contraception for the duration of use, but it has now come up to the expiry date and uh, it's time to replace things and what to do in this circumstance. So obviously the guidance here will depend somewhat on what type of IUD you have in place. Uh, and we're gonna talk about the different types of hormonal IUDs and recommendations and also the different types of copper IUDs. Now, in today's video, the information that I'm going to provide is based on a recent publication from the Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Canada. Um, they recently uh, have released, uh, via their contraception consensus, they've released guidelines um, on updated guidance during the pandemic and periods of social disruption uh, for contraception. So um, I'm going to be discussing some of those guidelines today. Now, one thing that I've been emphasizing with my patients uh, as we're doing over the phone counseling, uh, and I've done some posts to this effect on Instagram, when you have an IUD in place, it's not going to turn into a pumpkin um, at the stroke of midnight like Cinderella's coach um, on the date of the actual expiration. So um, although we say this is good for three years or five years or 10 years or what have you, um, it doesn't stop working immediately at that cutoff point. So with regards to first the hormonal IUD, there is good evidence to support the extended use of the 52 milligram levonorgestrel IUD. Uh, so in Canada, that would be Marina. In uh, the United States and beyond, that would include Liletta. So that is the five-year hormonal levonorgestrel IUD. There is actually good evidence to support extended use for up to seven years if it has been inserted at age 25 or greater. So if the patient was uh, 25 years old or more at the time that the IUD was inserted, there has been approval for extended use up to seven years. Now, keeping in mind um, that these, again, are pandemic guidelines, we know that the failure rate uh, for these IUDs is two per thousand uh, with a rare chance of tubal pregnancy. We don't have an exact number to be able to apply to year six and year seven, um, but we, we know that the, the actual number of pregnancies would still be very, very low and that it is safe to uh, proceed if necessary to year six and year seven. I should also note that there were pre-existing guidelines not related to pand the pandemic, that if a patient is uh, greater than uh, age 44 at the time of insertion, that the um, use can be for seven years without question. Um, so just to clarify that pre-existing guideline. Now, with regards to the 13.5 milligram levonorgestrel IUD, so that would be uh, Skyla or JDES, um, or the 19.5 milligram levonorgestrel IUD, so that would be Kylina, um, there is less experience with extended use, and so we can't come out and approve um, extended use of those lower dose hormonal IUDs. So we are recommending that if you can't get in in time to get your IUD changed, that you do use a second method of contraception or backup method of contraception until you're able to do the replacement. 
Now with regards to the copper IUD, um, so there are many different brands of copper IUDs and there are different durations of use and varying based on the amount of copper actually contained uh, within the device itself. So for the 380 uh, millimeters square, that's sort of the surface area of, of copper is how it's measured. For the 380 uh, copper IUDs, there is good evidence to support that they may be effective for up to at least 12 years and likely until menopause if inserted at age greater than 35. So although you likely were told by your physician or healthcare provider five years, there is some evidence that it might actually be able to be extended um, well beyond that. Um, now, examples of the 380 uh, copper IUDs currently available, and there's, there's many, but these are just some uh, some brands that are currently available. Uh, in the United States, one of the commonest being Paragard. Uh, in Canada, 380 copper IUDs include the Liberté, um, the Mona Lisa 5, uh, the Mona Lisa 5 Mini, um, the Mona Lisa 10, and the Flexi T 380. Now, with regards to the copper IUDs that are 300 uh, millimeters squared of copper. So uh, in uh, Canada, that would be the Flexi T uh, 300 and the Mona Lisa N. Um, so if your IUD has only 300 uh, uh, millimeters or millimeters squared of copper, um, it's likely not as effective for extended use. And so we would recommend a second method of contraception. So very important if you have a copper IUD to know if it's a 380 or a 300, if you're going to proceed with extending the use. Um, now, in a situation where it's, um, it's necessary for you to change your IUD that you don't fall into the category of extended use, please note that Many clinics are still functioning during the pandemic, uh, my own included, uh, and I may do sort of a separate video about just general access to contraception um, and contraceptive care during the pandemic. Um, but do double check with your physician's office or local clinics. Don't automatically presume uh, that the local sexual health clinic or gynecologist or your IUD clinic where you have the IUD inserted, don't presume that they are closed and not replacing IUDs. Um, we are still trying to provide access to contraception. It is considered an essential service during the pandemic. Uh, we're obviously taking measures to do things in a safe fashion. Each clinic will have their own practices in place um, uh, with regards to keeping patients safe as they provide care during the pandemic. But please do check with the clinic to double check uh, whether or not they are still inserting IUDs. Many clinics are still open and able to uh, assist you if you are due for an IUD replacement. So that's all for today's video. Um, as always, I will remind you that in less than the time that I took for you to watch this video, you could have had an IUD inserted. Um, the whole process takes about five minutes and uh, provides up to five years or possibly more as per the topic of this video, uh, five years or more of worry-free contraception. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Everyone take care out there, uh, stay home, stay safe and uh, wishing you all the best. Take care.